Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my bathroom. So it's been a hot minute since I did the Beekman 1802 skincare review. Um, if you haven't checked that out, go check that out. I really, really love the products. I've acquired an array of such. So I thought I just got out of the shower. I do a little morning routine and I could show you how the serums look and what I like to do. So we're just gonna get right into it. So fresh face, washed, and I'm gonna first just start with the vitamin C serum. So this one is a new product for me. It's, you can bloom it with the um, moisturizer, or if you don't have sensitive skin, I just like to put it directly on my face, do a little face massage. You don't need much, two to three drops. Does not have a strong smell, no citrus scent like a lot of vitamin C serums have. So I'm just gonna pat that in. It doesn't feel sticky on my face. So overall, I highly recommend this vitamin C serum if you're new to vitamin C especially because like I said, it really does not have a strong scent doesn't make me feel like it's too aggressive on the skin um, if you have sensitive skin and if you do you can always bloom it with the moisturizer so I think like this is a great starter vitamin C serum for anyone looking to dive in then I'm gonna take I reviewed this in the first video but still love this this is the dewy eyed illuminating eye serum I love this I have a couple of the mini ones and I just keep it in my travel bags and in my skin fridge. I think it's a great base if you're gonna do makeup to put on your eyes. And then lastly, for the morning routine, before I apply my makeup, this is the new Milk Primer SPF Sunscreen Primer. It's SPF 35, so you gotta shake it to activate it. And then So it's not very heavy. And as you can see, it is white, but I don't find that it leaves that white cast on me. And if it does a little bit here, it really blends well. Like it's super glidey, doesn't feel tacky like sunscreen. And it makes for a really good dewy, base and that's pretty much it for my morning routine with these products like they're super effective and efficient which I love one thing I did want to mention in the morning I have started to before I shower I'll take a dry brush you could use whatever you want uh, this is just one off Amazon that was a couple bucks um, and I'll dry brush my body I do this not every single day I do it about three to four times a week depending on how my skin feels and then once we're out of the shower still a little wet go in it's the pure goat milk body cream and this stuff is <gasps> to die for that is gorgeous gorgeous oops again this has like zero smell and it is luxurious like it's not thick like some of the really heavy body body creams um but it's still like when you apply it it is thick but it blends so well and this has been after Mexico guys where I got pretty tan I have not peeled because I did aloe in Mexico and then I was applying this every single day and it just sealed the moisture in so I highly recommend this for this eight ounce jar it really is a bang for your buck it's like $38 but you really don't need that much and it is so aesthetically pleasing so okay good evening friends so I'm gonna do my little quick night routine I have a little makeup on so just go through it quickly put 
my hair up so it doesn't get all nursed it. So first I'm gonna take my makeup off with this buttermilk cleansing balm. So lovely texture. This is just gonna melt and kind of just warm it up in my hands. I don't have a lot of makeup on, so this will just break everything down before I go in with a face wash. Okay, nice and oily. I'm gonna just rinse that off. It gets nice and creamy. So you just rub it all over. Work wash jelly cleanser. Just not too much. Just put it on the wet face. And I like to double cleanse after using the cleansing balm it is a bit on the oily side. Okay, on a dry face, I'm gonna take my Dream Booster Retinol Serum. This has, it's beta retinol. It's a lot softer, I find. It's definitely not too harsh on your skin. Again, it says to bloom, so grab your bloom cream, which is the moisturizer, um, and mix it together. So I'm gonna do that actually. No, you know what? I'm not gonna switch up my routine just for a video. That isn't true to me, okay people? So I don't do that. I use it because this is pretty liquidy and pretty oily. So I'll show you. So see how It applies pretty well. Put some always on the neck. And then I like to do a little face massage. Okay, now I'm gonna just let that sit into my face before applying a moisturizer. Okay, so all I can really say about this guy is that it's amazing. And I had to scour a couple of Altas and I finally got my hands on it. Again, it has no scent. It's not like regular retinol. It's safe for sensitive skin. And normally I find retinols like the ones that I use are more like just a hydrating serum. This is oily and I love that as a night. And it's not heavy and I've never broken out using it. So highly recommend. You can get your hands on this. Get it. Okay, now that my face has kind of soaked in some of that serum, I'm gonna go in with the bloom cream. You kind of just bloom it. You don't need much. It's pretty heavy. No, it's thick but not heavy, if you know what I mean. Like it really goes into the skin. It mixes well with the serum. Like I said, you're supposed to really bloom the cream put the serum in and like mix it together. But I prefer this way. That's just me, it might be wrong. If you feel the need to bloom, you bloom. Okay, and that's it for my night routine. Honestly, super easy, super effective, like all of Beekman 1802 products. Again, I really am obsessed with these. I will continue to use these. Highly, highly recommend. That's it, you guys, for today. So, again, love these products. Highly, highly recommend Beekman 1802. 
just go and try some. You won't regret it. Okay. And with that, I am off to bed. And we'll see you next time. Bye.